In the last video, we were able to calculate the real return by putting everything in today's dollars. Put that $100 we invested a year ago in today's dollars, figure out what our our actual return was, our dollar return is, in today's dollars, and then we got our real return. What I want to think about in this video is how we can do it another way. We can actually put everything in last year's money. So we got $110. Let's put $110. Let's put 110 of today's money, 110 of today's money in in last year's money. Last year's year's money. And to think about this, we could we could do a little algebra, or you don't have to do algebra, but maybe that makes it a little bit more intuitive. There's some amount of money last year. There's some amount of money, and let's call that x, that if we multiply it by the inflation rate, so if we grow it by 2%, so if we grow it by 2%, that's going to be worth $110 today. That's going to be worth $110 today. Or to just solve for x, you divide both sides by 1.02, and we get the amount of money that if you grow it by inflation or that had the same amount of purchasing power as $110 today would be 110 divided by 1.02 which is let me scroll move over to the right a little bit this would be 110 110 divided by 1.02 so this would be equal to 107.8 dollars just roughly just to round it so this is equal to 107. Point $8. So $110 today buys us the exact same thing, if you believe the whole CPI index, as $107.80, and maybe I could even add another digit, $0.84, cents, and $0.84 cents would have bought us last year. So what is our dollar return in last year's money? Dollar return in last year's, in last year's money last year's money. Well, we ended up with $107.84 in last year's money. So $107.84, or $107.84. And we had originally invested in last year's money $100. We had originally invested $100. So our dollar return is $7.84. Or if you want to calculate the real return, the real return. How much did our actual purchasing power increase? Well, we got a $7.84 return off of a $100 investment. And so this is pretty easy to calculate. We once again get to the same 7.8% for the real return.